Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this forecourt film for our absolutely beautiful 2014 BMW 330 diesel touring. Uh, this is the four wheel drive X Drive model and is also the three litre twin turbo diesel. This car we actually supplied two years ago um, with about 50,000 miles on the clock um, and have recently just bought it back from the, uh, from the previous owner who's really, really looked after it. And the car is now done 74,000 miles. Uh, the condition is absolutely um, f fantastic. Um, when we sold it before, it was a, an immaculate car. And as I mentioned, the, um, the previous owners have really, really looked after it in that time. The wheels have just been acid dipped, powder coated, uh, and then painted in a gloss black finish. Uh, and, and then also um, diamond cut across the front of the faces here. So you get this really, really nice look. Uh, the standard ones are, have the sort of gray inserts, um, but we really find, find that the, uh, the gloss black really kind of uh, accentuates the sort of shape of the uh, the wheel and the spokes there. Uh, the colour is actually a BMW individual colour. It's very, very popular in um, in, in America, um, but very, very few of these cars um, are finished in um, in this colour, which is called Moonstone, um, which is, like I said, it's a, actually an, an exclusive uh, individual colour, uh, costing around about £700 from the factory, and uh, is a really lovely colour. It's quite a dull day today, um, as you can see. Um, but it's a sort of a, a really nice sort of silver um, finish to it, uh, but slightly flatter than, than the sort of major metallic silvers, but looks really, really striking. Um, the car has been upgraded with a number of different options. Uh, we have the visibility package at the front that you'll see here with the um, LED angel eyes, and uh, the lights are also xenon and adaptive as well, so they'll, they'll basically uh, the corner with you when at night. Um, and then we also have, because it's the visibility package as well, you have the sort of additional parking lights as well. So the fog lights will turn on um, and sort of light up the area when you're, when you're parking at night. Um, in terms of the other bits on, on the exterior, obviously it's a full M Sport model. So you have the really nice body styling and everything like that at the front. Uh, and then we also have the full length panoramic sunroof on the top here as well. I will sort of talk you through that on the inside. Um, in terms of the condition, it's absolutely fantastic, like I've mentioned. Um, very very neat and tidy all the way along there's no nasty dents or marks or anything like that to point out a couple of small stone chips which were actually here uh, when the car was sold originally um, but that's probably the worst ones of them uh, and again for, for 74,000 miles it really is not bad at all so yes all four wheels are, um, are all absolutely perfect like I said they've just been done so well I won't walk you around each individual one uh, but they are all completely unmarked if we come down the passenger side here you'll see that all the things like the mirror caps and everything like that are all in absolutely perfect condition and all the way down the side is it all lovely um, if I was going to be ultra picky I would say uh, just on the back bumper just here there's been a very small sort of like a stress fracture um, just I think somebody's maybe just tapped it in a um, in a car park or something uh, it's actually because of where it is it's right on that line you can't actually see it unless you go in uh, really really close so um, obviously the only way to completely repair it would be to have the whole bumper painted um, which just seems a little bit over the top really for, for, for that amount of damage um, like I said it's, it's barely noticeable and if you um, were to repaint it you would run the risk of obviously not getting an exact match um, at, the po at this point up here um, and you'd be needing to sort of paint both sides of the car which like I said seems to be um, completely over the top really um, and uh, wouldn't necessarily guarantee a, a factory finish so like I said it's a very very small mark on there obviously as soon as the car's slightly dirty you don't even notice it um, but I just wanted to point that out so that uh, you knew what what you're looking at and the rest of the car across the back is all fantastic you don't even have any sort of loading marks or anything like that across the back bumper um, it's all uh, been very very well looked after uh, keep coming around and all the way down the driver's side, again, we'll just see that the condition is absolutely perfect. Another perfect mirror housing cover there as well. And all the way around to the front. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, in terms of some of the features, the car has, uh, we have both keys for the car. Car features an electric tailgate. This is pops up from here. And you see you've got this beautiful beige leather interior and, uh, and sort of carpeting all the way through. It's been very, very well, well looked after. No nasty marks or stains or anything like that in the back there. You've got the additional storage area underneath and then things like your locking wheel nut and toolkit and everything like that in the section at the back there. Coming through to the back, leather is in absolutely fantastic condition all the way through, beautiful and clean, all the headlining and everything like that, all immaculate. 
all the seat backs. Not sign showing any signs of any sort of kick marks or anything like that at all. And again, all the carpets are all in absolutely lovely condition. Very, very nice interior this. It's absolutely flooded with light, but you still get the sort of slightly more practical darker headlining and everything like that up there. And then you have an electric blind that comes across here from the, uh, from the sunroof. And then we also have the really nice sort of walnut cappings and everything like that. And the stitching that continues all the way across. Very, very classy interior. And through to the passenger side, we've got electric seats on this side. We have electric seats with memory for the um, for the driver's side. And again, just looking through, you've got the silver finisher and everything like that that comes across the dashboard there. And then the centre console area as well. Coming through to the inside. And we jump in, you have the uh, full black panel display, uh, which comes up on here. So rather than the sort of traditional gauges that you would get on, on the normal cars, this is actually a digital display down here. Uh, and that'll uh, change depending on what sort of driving mode you're in and things like that. Um, and also gives up things like your satellite navigation instructions, um, as well as all of your um, miles per gallon, uh, distance until you run out of fuel. Uh, temperature and date and all that kind of stuff as well. So um, a re very, very nice sort of display up on up on there. Uh, some of the other bits and pieces, we have automatic headlights. We have automatic windscreen wipers. You just simply press this one in to uh, to activate the, the windscreen wipers. Uh, we have paddle shift gear change. All of your settings here for your voice control, telephone and media. And then across the steering wheel here, uh, we have also have full cruise control and everything like that as well. So that's all your buttons and everything like that. For this, uh, set paddle shift. And then we also have the, um, this is your, your main button for the onboard computer. And then we have, because the car is fitted with a visibility package, um, it also has the um, high beam assist as well. So it'll um, it'll actually dim the, the lights at night time when the car comes towards you and then um, put them back on when the car passes. We have dual zone climate control, so we have te uh, separate temperatures for driver and passenger. We also have additional controls in the back there, um, so you can change the temperatures for the rear passengers. Um, and then we've also been upgraded with uh, heated seats for the front, um, for, again for driver and passenger. That's a three stage system. Um, down to here, you have your automatic gearbox, different driving modes and everything like that uh, to be able to switch those buttons. Uh, we have parking sensors. Just pop that one on it'll actually come up here on the display and show you which parking sensor is being used so you know how close you're getting to something and then we also have the uh, the iDrive touch system down here as well uh, which has got the, the far larger one that you get with a professional media package um, and this also has handwriting recognition as well so you can actually use this here, area here as a touchpad um, and uh, and enter things like addresses or search through your your phone book and then if we lift up the the center console here uh, we've got a storage tray and then your auxiliary in socket as well as your USB socket as well for your media devices. And then we come back up here to the main screen, we'll just do this. So in terms of the features up here on the main screen, uh, we have the access for all of your media. So we have DAB digital radio as well as your FM and AM stations. Um, we also have um, a CD and DVD player, so you have the little slot down here. You can actually put mo movies in here and play um, play movies up on the screen, um, uh, as well as a CD. And then we also have the music collection. So if you put a CD into the system, you can actually download music directly into a hard drive that's um, that's stored within the car. Or you can also connect your USB uh, and again download music and things like that direct onto the system. And then you have the uh, the two um, connections that I mentioned earlier on down here in the armrest. Um, for USB um, or also for auxiliary as well so you can plug your phone in there and, and stream music Spotify playlists and things like that um, all up onto the um, onto the main system um, also on here we have the widescreen satellite navigation uh, as this is the professional media package uh, this covers you for the whole of Western Europe contains traffic reports and all that kind of stuff and uh, has this really nice little Google Maps style sort of interface um, that's on here and um, is a very very nice easy system to use a really great display and everything like that and like I said comes up with the um, the sort of guidelines for, for what you have to do next um, up on the uh, on the dashboard screen there um, just to let you know the screen is not actually flashing in reality it's the frame rate on the camera making it look like that so uh, when I when I'm looking at the screen there's not a single flash on it but through the uh, viewfinder there is um, and then we also have obviously things like your Bluetooth um, telephone connections here for um, for making calls 
and the rest of the car we have things like a control panel so you can um, come in here um, and uh, and change um, change your sort of overall settings and everything like that for the car brightness um, things about the lights touchpad the sound um, and everything like that is all um, is all controlled through here so a really nice interface and not having to sort of scroll through loads of different menus um, it's all uh, very easy to see and then we've come through to the servicing section this car has a full BMW service history um, so we can come through here and access uh, things like the history so we can see the car has been regularly serviced 2015, 16, 17 um, and it again gives you the mileages and also the, the numbers here um, correspond to the, uh, the, set, the, the BMW centre that, uh, that, that did, the, um, did the servicing um, and then you can see that most recently in, where was the date? Uh, in October 2020, uh, the car had a full service at uh, 72,000 miles, so it's only done 2,000 miles since then. Um, and that's got all of the bits and pieces in there that, uh, that was changed. So absolutely nothing for the new owner to do for a little while. Um, and this is the screen where it tells you what needs to be done. So um, front brake pads have 4,800 miles worth of uh, wear left on them. Uh, they're always quite conservative as well, so it's probably a bit a bit longer than that. Um, the engine oil service, because that was carried out last October, is now due in October 2022, uh, as you have sort of two year uh, or 18,000 mile uh, intervals on that one. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, uh, 15,000 miles or, or uh, October 2022. Vehicle check at the same time brake fluid to check at the same time and then the rear brake pads have obviously recently been replaced so we have 30,000 miles worth of wear left on those so there you go um so in terms of uh, everything else on the inside i think that's pretty much it like i said you've got the electric blind that that comes across here um and then this is a tilt and slide system for the um for the sunroof uh come down here you've got a decent sized glove box with all of your books and manuals and everything like that in there and you see that's all covered up nicely uh, and just the overall sort of finish and condition of the interior as you'll see is absolutely beautiful there's no nasty scratches on any of the plastics or anything like that you've got your cup holders down here in this lift off section and additional sort of storage and 12 volt sockets and everything like that up there so yeah absolutely uh, absolutely packed full of features um, and in uh, very very nice condition as, you, as I hope you uh, hope you can see if we can help with any further information if you uh, would require any finance figures at all or you have a part exchange that you'd like us to have a look at, then please do let us know through our website, which is jajarvis.co.uk. We'd be more than happy to help and uh, hopefully uh, get you down for a test drive soon. Thank you very much again for watching and we'll see you next time.